better Because There's nothing you can do There's nothing you can change You're wasting my time You're just a playboy Broken is broken <laughs> It's so annoying, you know You'll never be that one Only when you're dreaming to get in oh no 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 i'm out of your league trust me go play around and stop begging What's her name? Deep Throat? No, Deep Parliament is the name of the group. Oh, I thought it was Deep Throat. Deep Parliament. Actually, I like the, I like the beat. Yeah. And you definitely know what the name of the song is. Broken is broken is broken is broken. Okay. It's, no, it certainly uh, was broken. Deep Parliament. Broken from the Netherlands. And one more before we go back to politics. Oh, I thought we would uh, save that. And... Oh, we're gonna, we got plenty today. Now we're going to play Mavi. Mavi, Mavi, Mavi. Mavi, 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 Mavi from uh, Italy. The name of the song is Tomorrow, Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. You by go, Mavi. you go. You don't know what you're doing, but you go. You run, you run. You don't know where you're going, but you this time I've seen I wonder if you'll ever get me
I think we got two big hits on our hands, uh, Rev. Oh, that was uh, Mavi from Italy. Song is called Tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy any of these songs, go to Art Pluggers. Look up the artists and listen to them. Buy their music. Tell them the CC Radio Network sent you there. All right. I have a report from our intern who said the uh, first song she didn't care for too much. She said this song that we played by Mavi was okay, but it uh, could have been better. But it was better than the first one. Okay. All right. Well, she's always critical, which is good. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy any of the songs. Remember, you heard them on iPluggers on this show. And you can go to iPluggers, buy the songs, download them, whatever, and tell them that CC Radio Network sent you there. That's right, and you'll get uh, a discount. Yeah, just they remember, we're an iHeart. They won't charge you delivery. Yeah, we're an iHeart station. <laughs> We are. We we broadcast the iPods on iHeart, YouTube, TuneIn, so, iTunes. Somewhere tune on out. somewhere on the cloud. Uh, tune out. Uh, yeah, we're like Gary Johnson. We're floating up there, you know. We yeah. really are floating up there. But the number, hey. by the way, once again, is six four six five nine five three two seven five. Well, I expect today most of our listeners will be uh, listening to the pod because most people are planning their trips. To escape for this wonderful three-day weekend. Or people might be dancing. Yeah, well, with this weekend uh, in New York, uh, a lot of people's uh, vacation ideas are being uh, washed out because of the... uh, Well, uh, actually, if they left... The tropical storm. If they left today and if they're going out of state, they might be lucky because they might miss the storm. Yeah, I'm talking about people like, you know, that stay local, go to the Hamptons. Well, this is, you know, the, basically, even though people go after Labor Day, you know, this is, uh, generally speaking, the last big weekend to go out to uh, Montauk and uh, yeah. I mean, it's the, unofficial, the Hamptons. It's the unofficial end of the summer. Unofficial end, the end of the summer. Yeah, yeah because every... when school starts, we always have Indian summer, and it hits 90 degrees. Well, the end of summer officially is September 21st, but everybody considers this the unofficial end of the summer because kids go to school, vacations are over for a lot of people out who here, are working. Out here on the island, they started already. They started, I believe, today. Yeah. In uh, Europe, everything is opening up again because August is usually shut down in Europe for vacation. You know, they're not like us. They take a minimum of four weeks vacation. Every, and mostly in August, everything shuts down. Then they come back. Even though some of the countries in Europe are always on vacation. And speaking about Mexico, you know, you got that two-hour siesta between uh, two and four or one and three, whatever well, it is. Yeah, I mean, well, they work longer hours, and the siesta is for a reason, because it gets so hot in Mexico, so hot, exactly. you can't work those two hours, so you take a, you take two, three hours off during the hottest time of the day, and you work in the evening when it's cooler. Exactly. I mean, I mean you know, it, it actually makes sense in the real hot countries to take a siesta. But as things become more air conditioned and more modernized, you know, that. The CS idea is, you know, less popular because, you know. I unless, guess so. Unless you're not working outside or in an office that's not air conditioned, you know, I think people would rather work 9 to 5 and go home. Now, in Europe, I know when I was in Spain, people don't eat dinner till like 9 o'clock at night. They eat a light dinner at 9. They, they stay out much later than we do. Restaurants get busy nine ten o'clock at night. Did you know that, Mark? I know that's how it is in Europe. Yeah, so I'm saying in Europe, yeah. And they also some of them have some. They take longer lunch breaks also there. You know, it's, it's you know, everybody's got their own culture. Our culture is. Our culture is that people don't want to work more than 37 and a half hours. You know, they want the, their 40 hour week. They want their half hour lunch. for lunch. You know, uh, 
But I tell you, you know, I've been talking with my – well, I always spoke with my sister, but the bottom line is, you know, now that she's in a forced retirement, which – I, I have to honestly say she's loving it. You know, she was she she so dreaded what she was going to do, but like she said at the beginning of the summer, she said this is the first summer vacation I've had in forty seven years. What you did know? she do? Teacher also? No, she was in corporate America. She was in fashion. Okay, and uh, the bottom line is they always had every four times a year they had their shows in the city. They had their seasons, you know, and. Uh, she helped put together the magazines, the corporate ma- the magazines that went out. You know, she did most of the editing, you know, and, and layout work. And, uh, but the bottom line is, you know, she said uh, she's not missing work at all. Yeah, who, you know, listen, I, I'm looking forward to the day when I can retire. I'm, I am, uh, I'm of a... Oh, you have your grave already picked out? Is that it? Basically, yeah. 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 Matter of fact, my, my wife's family has 12 sites. And the three or four of them are gone, I think. Or probably five. where? Probably in what? Jersey? No, no. On the island. At uh, New Montefiore? Yeah. So, uh, depending uh, in what order everybody dies... I may have a, a plot, or I may not. I assume as long as my if my wife has a plot, then I have a plot because I guess yeah, by marriage, are, through marriage, we're married. What do they put in one on top of the other? Well, it uh, yeah, you could save space that way, certainly. No, see, that's what they do. I think. No, they don't put one on top of the other. Of course, they do a lot of uh, a lot of cemeteries. No, they said eventually that it may come to that because they're running out of. No, they they did that. They do that in Queens. The, the Stonehead says, uh, "Here lies, you know, Michael Geach, and then the bottom and Amalia and faithful wife Amalia Geach. They they dig the holes deeper. The first one is deeper in the ground, and the second one goes atop. Well, your mother didn't weigh that much anyway. He's lucky. You yeah, know, I'm just but, saying uh, that, that, that's pretty much. I didn't much... know that. You know, my parents are next to each other. Ellen and I will be next to each other. You know, uh, whatever. That's what you think." You never know. You, do you think once you're buried, you're going to know if they're going to put you at top instead of next to her? Well, I did happen to say to her, I said, she better be nice to me or I'm going to put her next to her father. Also, did they put you closer together? Or was there a big separation because you're married? Yeah, nothing to do with that, no. No, you just have, you know, the, the husband and wife, they have a, a double plot. You know, and whatever is usually in between is in between. You know, just enough room to fit a coffin. You know, that's about it. Yeah. I don't know how it works. Maybe Jewish cemeteries are different. You know something? It doesn't really make much difference because after a year or so, the wood falls apart. You know, you become food for worms and maggots. So You uh, become uh, ashes to ashes. Well, that's a possibility. I'm still thinking about that. The, uh... You can you can.